You actually believed me, Mom. Of course I did, Reyna. You're my daughter. Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Kenny. Oh, Reyna, are you done? I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? Mom! What's all this food here for? Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am, yeah. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. Oh, thank you so much for the meal, but I just can't eat anymore. Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. I'm sorry my mother made so much. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. <laughs> I 
Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. I'm gonna go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, alright? Sure, that sounds good. How is he, Reyna? Stuffed. He said he couldn't eat anymore, so I had him rest upstairs for a bit. Is that right? In that case, now would be a good time to tell the mayor. It's dark out, so be careful, Reyna. Okay, I'll go get him. What's all the racket for, Reyna? Sir, come to my house quick! There's no time to waste! Now just what is going on here, young lady? The hero! He's finally appeared! W what It's true! He has the Sword of Light and everything! The Sword of Light? His clothes are foreign-looking, too. There's no doubt about it. He's the hero from the legend! My goodness. Tell me, Reyna, where did you find him? In the sacred forest. He saved me from a monster using the Sword of Light. And right now, he's resting in my house. I'm telling you the truth. What's more, he said he's on a journey, but didn't have any idea where he was. He claims to be from somewhere, but I've never even heard of the place. Don't you think this is more than a coincidence? Indeed. It is something worth looking into. Reyna, I know as well as anybody that you are not the kind of girl to make up stories either. Thank you, Mayor. So let's get to the bottom of this. First things first, let's see what he has to say. Great! Reyna, oh, no, 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 no. What's wrong, Mom? Why are you panicking like that? I... Uh, no, it, it's just that I've... Calm down, Mom. Tell me what's wrong. I said it. said what? I said the H word. What? You told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Please be calm, everyone. It's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. Must be Claude C. Kenny then, yes? Allow me to say, 
I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Regis, and I humbly serve this village as its mayor. Good to meet you, sir. Allow me to thank you profusely for saving our dear Reyna's life in the sacred forest. Oh, not at all, sir. Speaking of which, Reyna has told me that you are, at present, in the midst of a journey. Oh, well, it's hardly worth calling a journey, really. So tell me, where is your destination? The Kingdom of Cross, or perhaps the continent of Lacour? Well, I, uh... A curious traveler indeed. Not only do you not know where you are, but where you are going is also yet unknown. What are you trying to say, sir? Mr. Kenny, if you will forgive my rudeness for a moment, I do believe everything you have told us has been a lie. You are far from an ordinary traveler. If I'm not a traveler, then what am I? A visitor from another world. A hero of legend, hidden under the guise of a traveler. In fact, even you will agree that you are the hero of light who has come to fulfill his duty as our savior. Am I wrong? What? I, uh, listen. What would possibly make you think that I, uh... If it's proof you need, then let me share with you a glimpse of our world. It has been told in our history that when the people of Expel are suffering under the threat of impending doom, a hero will appear in garbs of foreign make, and with his sword of light, he will save us all! Your clothes are nothing like what we have, and you carry the Sword of Light. What more proof do we need? What are you... I don't have any Sword of Light. Of course you do! You used a blinding light to save me earlier. That? Maybe he really isn't the one. He's got to be. Hmm. I think I know why you're all confused. This weapon of mine, it's not a sword of light, although I'll admit that it's something like one. But still, carrying this around doesn't make me any kind of special hero. There's got to be some kind of mistake. Can you say that? Well, I mean, I'm not a hero. I don't have any kind of power like that. I don't even have any idea what's going on here. How can you expect me to save anyone at all? You truly have no idea? You really don't know anything about the Sorcery Globe or the Cataclysms? We're not talking about something that happens in the village here. We're talking about the cataclysms that have affected the entire world.
It seems that you do not really know what we are talking about. Please allow me to explain. It all began three months ago. On another continent, northwest of this village, there is a kingdom by the name of El. One fateful day, a meteor crashed upon Aluria, a town located within El's territory. At first, people saw it as merely a rare and remarkable celestial event. But before long, a cataclysm took place. Great hordes of monsters suddenly appeared in the once peaceful nation, and the havoc they spread devastated the Kingdom of El. There has never been anything like this before in our world. Not until the arrival of that meteor. It only stands to reason that the two events are related to each other. The meteor came to be called the Sorcery Globe, a stone of pure demonic evil. No matter how you look at it, that stone must be the reason for the disasters that have befallen the world. And now, just as the sorcery globe fell upon our heads one day, so you have also appeared out of thin air. If that stone is the source of the chaos, then we believe that only you can cut through the chaos and save us. But I'm just a... The cataclysms are still ongoing as we speak. Strings of earthquakes like nothing recorded before. Docile animals turning into fearsome monsters. It will not be long before disaster befalls this humble village, too. But I... I'm not anyone special like your story said. How am I supposed to deal with some kind of magic meteorite? If you are not, then where did you come from? And where are you going? That's... I don't know how to explain it, and even if I did, you wouldn't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm here because of an accident, and not because I wanted to be here. I just want to go back to where I came from. That's all. You must have your reasons. But you must let us know more before we can make sense of this. I know, but that's all I can tell you. Very well. If you insist on it, then I am sure there is at least some truth to it. We will have to accept that you are not the Hero of Light after all. How can this be? I'm sorry. This is probably not what you all wanted to hear. Not at all. 
It is our own fault forcing you to be someone you are not in the first place. I'm sorry about this. one those clothes and that sort of light <laughs> <laughs> 